guys, thanks for tuning in. So I am so excited for Halloween. It is my favorite holiday. I love creepy, spooky stuff. And I am so excited to see that all the stores have put out the Halloween stuff. Um, but that being said, Halloween stuff is very expensive, okay? So I wanted to come up with a couple DIY projects that you could do picking up some simple items at your local Dollar Tree. So let me show you what I bought. Um, I think I spent like $9 or something. My idea was I have a, like a entryway table. So I wanted to get three picture frames, put spooky pictures in them, and then make like a spooky vase. So again, I think I spent like $9 at Dollar Tree on all this stuff. So real quick, I got some little um, kids from the kids aisle, little snakes. Oh, I picked up these beautiful flowers, which I will end up making spooky. Oh, these were awesome. They, so they had just put out the Halloween stuff. So if you can see those here, um, they're little, well not little, big tarantulas. Got another bag of critters from the kids' toy aisle. Um, this is just a random thing of bugs. It's got different types of bugs in there. Um, this is just a tiny strand. It says 20 lights, 5 feet. Again, I'm just going to add this once I set everything up on the table. I'm going to add a little pop of light. So for the flowers, I did get this little vase. Again, everything's a dollar, so that's awesome. So we're going to um, spookify that here in just a little bit. And then finally, I picked out some random picture frames. So I just went with um, two five by sevens. So again, didn't really care what the pattern was because I'm going to spray paint them. And then I did get one eight by ten. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, like I said, make a little uh, spooky thing for my entryway table with the three pictures, the spooky vase. Um, so let's get to it. Real quick, for this project, you'll need some Google images of spooky family portraits, one or two bags of little critters, some spiders, a glass vase for your flowers, a glue gun, several picture frames, some flowers, a can of spray paint, and for a little extra jazz, a string of lights. All right, so my glue gun is warmed up so what I did basically is I kind of uh, took the frames and I just uh, took some of the insects and I'm going to glue them onto the frame before I spray paint it. So you can go ahead, um, I'm going to take this little critter, so I need glue. Alright guys, so while I'm hot gluing stuff, I'm going to make sure I get the uh, creepy crawlies on my vase as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give those some glue. guys so while the picture frames are drying I'm gonna go ahead and trace the outline for my picture so I can cut them uh, to the perfect size for the frame I went downstairs got a tea bag put some water in it and I'm actually gonna use this to paint the white parts of the page okay so I got a little better so the best thing to do is to like squeeze the tea bag and then get that really, really dark stuff and put it on your uh, paintbrush, if you can see that. That definitely makes it look a little better. So, kind of getting that dark stain that I wanted. I'm just going to go over the paper a couple times here. Then I might get the hair dryer to kind of speed it up. But if you can see that, it's starting to stain it better than having the white around the border. So I'm going to keep working. Alright guys, so I finished staining the white edges of my pictures with tea. It's all dried up, so it looks good. It looks a little antique, a little age. So picture frames are dry. I'm going to go ahead and put it all together and show you what it looks like. 
All right, the spooky table's done. Now again, once it gets closer to actual Halloween, I'll set it out, and I'll also add some spider webs and stuff to make it even more spooky. The critters look good. 